Um, there was a petition actually in New York to try and get the Empire State Building to be turned blue for oh, the, right. the anniversary. I think they got about 35,000 uh, signatures towards that. I'm not sure if they, they convinced them or not, but the, the level of passion and excitement around the world is just incredible at the moment. It's uh, interesting doing some reading this morning that uh, this, this show was almost killed at birth. There was a lot of nervousness way, way back in 1963 from BBC executives about uh, the, the type of show, and it was almost apparently nearly pulled off air after four episodes, wasn't it? It was. I don't think anybody thought at that time that it was. we were going to be talking about it 50 years later. No. Um, there's uh, a fantastic program called The Adventures in Space and Time, which the ABC is also broadcasting this weekend, which will sort of document the early days of the program and uh, how it came to be and the writers and the, the, um, the conversations around getting it off the ground. Um, so everybody should definitely look at that as well as the uh, anniversary episode. And looking at the list, 11 actors over, uh, over six decades playing Doctor Who when you're talking about some really top-rate actors playing the role of Doctor Who as well. You, you, there are certainly, um, I mean, Peter Capaldi is coming up to be the 12th Doctor, um, but there's been some fantastic names along the way. David Tennant, uh, Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor has been fantastic. Everybody thought he was quite young to play the role, but of course, within a couple of episodes, everybody had decided that he was perfectly suited for it. Um, and that's the, the beauty of the, the producers and the writers. They always seem to pick exactly the right person to play that role. And everybody sort of brings their own little slant to it. So um, it gives somebody gives the fans, I guess, something new and different to talk about and a new fan to add to their list, a new doctor to add to their list of favourites. And I, I won't let you go by asking you, Rachel, who was your <laughs> favourite doctor? Uh, look, I grew up watching Tom Baker, so I guess the sentimental favourite is him. But more recently, it's a t I sort of changed my mind between David Tennant and Matt Smith. Um, both of them, I think, are fantastic. And I'm actually really looking forward to finding out what Peter Capaldi brings to the role as well. As long as he keeps his mouth clean, given his former <laughs> cast. Hey, he absolutely will. Before you go, Rachel, our, our ABC News uh, Dalek has a special message for you. Are you listening? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> OK, he knows where you are. You better behave. Rachel, uh, it's been you. fantastic chatting. Thanks very much. Thank you so much, Michael. And the ABC will be part of a global simulcast, as we mentioned, of the 50th anniversary episode, The Day of the Doctor, it's called. And you can see it on Sunday at 6.50 Eastern Daylight Time on ABC One and again at 7.30pm local. And if the Dalek would be quiet for a moment, we've been getting some great comments from all of you watching this morning and a good, a good, a good point. The, um, Paddy has reminded us that the original Doctor Who TV theme was written by an Australian. There oh, was really? um, plenty of Australian involvement um, in the program. Gay Waterhouse Yes, was yes, in she was episode. an actress in one of the early Carly episodes. Carly Minogue's been mm. in an episode. Um, Jackie says, as a small child in England watching the first episode, it seemed to take our mind off the horror of President Kennedy's death. Mm. Um, I heard earlier this week that the first show was actually delayed because of yep. the assassination. And um, that had been splashed across our screen, says Jackie. John Pertwee was my favourite doctor. Very debonair, but also a commanding presence, so you felt the world was safe. I also just wanted to read out um, a lovely quote that is <laughs> extremely distracting. A lovely quote from Tom Baker, who seems to be the sentimental favourite oh, doctor. He was asked, what's your one biggest Doctor Who memory? Tom Baker says, I remember a man stopping me in Oxford Street once, looking at me with absolute, absolute incredulity. He couldn't believe it. He said, Tom Baker? A man in his late 30s. I said, yes. He said, Tom Baker? I said, yes. And he looked at me and in his brain he catapulted back in time and said, you know, when I was a boy, I was in a home for children. Nobody wanted us, you know. It was terrible. And you made Saturday night good. And I went to say something to him and I could see him so close to tears that he couldn't speak. And he shook his head as if to say, don't go on, don't remind me. And he just did a thumbs up. Such a common thing, isn't it? But mm. suddenly backed up with an expression on his face through his tears that was a knighthood. It was a knighthood. Just a thumbs up, meaning it was great. And thanks. It's incredible, isn't it? Just a gesture. What so, a great quote. Mm, just and goes to show the impact that the show has had on um, thousands, millions of people. On everybody and still does. The last word uh, goes to the Dalek. You will be the Daleks. Okay. 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 Anyway, you can catch that show on ABC One at 6.50. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? 6.50 on... OK. 
And in fact, we're about to do a, a serious finance segment, so I should we take are. my Tom Baker Stop scarf it. off, shouldn't I? Yes, yes, please. You'll be watching, won't you, on Sunday morning? <laughs> uh, I think I might be sleeping in Sunday no, morning. Just tell me what happens. Watch. OK. To finance and comments by the Reserve Bank Governor overnight have caused a flutter on the market. During a speech in Sydney, Glenn Stevens said the bank hasn't ruled out the in intervening in the currency markets to force the value of the dollar down. Now that comment saw the dollar drop by half a cent before recovering slightly.